Alright, hey there YouTube. Um, so I just bought these speakers right here. Um, they're just, you know, standard, like, theater speakers. At the top, bottom, I don't know how big that is. Probably around 8 or 9 inch. And then like a little 3 inch one. Um, so one thing I did notice about these is that when you just hook them directly up, like in the back, as like a three and a half millimeter jack. When you hook them straight up to the iPod or iPhone or whatever, it doesn't produce much sound. So here's actually what it sounds like when it's plugged in directly with the volume as loud as it could go. It's very quiet. Prove the volumes all the way up. It's right there. See all the way up. Okay. Those are very quiet. Well, so I'm going to show you how to create a cheapy amp. Now, this you could buy at Walmart. These are just little Phillips speakers. They look like this. They have this plug. They're like for iPod speakers or whatever. And uh. And it also comes with this. This is a little amplifier, actually. And the amp, this, it's, you know, obviously it's cheap. It's not great. But it's rated for three AAA batteries. And that equals, so, uh, three volts, four and a half volts power. So I'll show you what that sounds like with iPod. So we'll load all the three AAA batteries in. Now uh, these are... You know, around halfway dead. Plug. And then it has this wire. You're going to plug this cord into your iPhone. Like so. And it has this one right there. And you're going to plug that one into there. Now, just one more time. This is what it sounds like without the uh, amp. So that's what it sounds like with the amp off. Now when it's on... Now that's on, that's off. Now the ba the song I'm playing is all bass, so that's why it sounds like that. But here, I'll play uh, another song, I'll play Run DMC. That's with the amp vital. off. That's right. On top. Hey, 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 here we go. Uh, Alright, so there you go. That's with that little amp right there. That's with four and a half volts. Now, if you want to push this even further, you can. Now, I tried it. All you need now is. one 9 volt battery like this and just a little connector that just clips right onto the top of the 9 volt so what you're going to do is you're going to take out all the AAA batteries so I can get them all out and all right, so all three are out now since this is a series circuit and not parallel you need to find the connections so what you got to do is you got to plug this back in Plug this back into the iPhone. Start playing music. Now turn that on. Now what you're going to do is you're going to plug this into the battery. I can't do this with one hand. So there you go. Plugged in. Now those, the springs, are always the negative side. So that's the black side. Now you gotta find the connections of which which goes to where. So let me try to do this with one hand. I'm gonna put that one there to the negative on the negative. Eventually it'll go in. Wherever it's close.
right, to the black zinc. Now you're going to test both red terminals. So this one, and then you would test that one. In my case, that one's it. And then you would just test each one. So it's usually the back battery and then the front one. So the back left negative terminal, the front right positive terminal. And uh, that's a lot louder than the original plus the three batteries. Because you've got to remember, this is only four volts, four and a half volts. This is nine volts. Now, so I can plug this in again to show you. There you go, that's with the three batteries. And now this is with the nine volt. Get this in.